Hi, I'm Brenda. Welcome to Nancy and Apron. My intention today was making meatloaf. That's not going to happen. Well, it kind of is. Come on. So I'm going to make uh, Mexican spiced meatloaf. I've never made this before, so I thought I'd give it a try. I use ketchup when I make my meatloaf, and I don't have any, and I don't want to go get any. So I said, well, let me just flip this around. And uh, to one pound of ground beef, I'm going to add one egg. Oh, also I have my uh, oven preheating to 350 degrees. And I have a loaf pan that I sprayed with nonstick spray. I'm talking a little funny today because my nose is stuffy. <laughs> the fun of allergies and whatever else. Um, okay. This is some purple onion. One plum tomato. I've got just a little bit of green pepper sliced up, diced up, and one yellow pepper. Get all of that in there. Um, this is all of my spices that I'm going to put in it. I've got a tablespoon of taco seasoning, a teaspoon of chives, half a teaspoon of smoked paprika, garlic powder, and a pinch of salt. Now, also, I don't know if you've seen them or not, but there are some tortilla chips that have salsa. They're called salsa verde. Verde, verde, I don't know. You know, that salsa stuff. And what I did was I took a cup of them and I uh, used my little blender and crushed them up. And it made a little over a fourth cup. That we're going to also dump in here. Our binder. That's what that's going to be. And then, um, let me let me do a measure here, just to see how much I'm probably going to put in here at a time. Right now, I'm starting with fourth cup, and that's just the regular uh, taco sauce. Sorry about making all that racket. It's the Ortega sauce. Now, let me get some cheese. I'm going to use some Fiesta blend, or uh, some taco, taco blend cheese, about a cup of it. Yeah, I'm going to get you guys scooted down here, because I'm fixing to get my hands dirty. You don't have to use your hand, you can use a fork if you want to, I just find it a lot easier to get all this stuff mixed up if I go ahead and use my hand. Can I feel it to know that it's right. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in the oven, again 350 degree oven, and I'm going to bake it for about 40 minutes, then I'm going to take it out, ooh this smells good, all these, these spices and stuff mixed in together, but then I'm going to take it out and I'm going to uh, put a little bit of that sauce on the top and then I'm going to uh, smother it with some cheese. So I think it should taste good. <laughs> now if you have salsa, you can put salsa in here instead of cutting up all those vegetables. I just prefer to use the fresh vegetables myself. I don't care too much for salsa for some reason, but I like all the, the veggies and, and ingredients that are in salsas. So, that's a little different for me, I guess. Then, uh, I have a video that's already out. We'll put a link uh, here that shows you how to make a Spanish rice that would go so good with this. But there's my uh, loaf pan that I've got ready and I've got this mixed up really good. So we're just going to dump it in there. Get everything out. Shape it. Give it a little smoosh. 
I'm going to go ahead and put some of this on the top because I like it to bake on there and uh, just it gives it just a little little char to it on the top you know not burn but just a little char about it okay now let me wash my hands and I'll be right back okay timer on for 40 minutes we're preheated to 350 and uh, we'll see you in a little while This smells so good. <laughs> it absolutely does. Now I do want to sprinkle it with some cheese again. Then we're going to pop it back in the oven and let that cheese melt down. <laughs> we look forward to having this for supper for sure. All right, so let's get, oops, turn my timer off. Now let's get some cheese on here. Yeah. Nothing wrong with this cheese. <laughs> it's quick and easy. And when you have two toddlers running around in your home, one whose birthday is today, I just made a cake for. Uh, this is the easiest round. Of course, that, not really, I guess, because they like to help. So that makes a difference, too. All right. I'm going to put this back in the oven for 10 minutes. Probably 10 to 15. Then we'll be back with you. Wow. <laughs> so I cannot describe how wonderful this smells. Just so delicious smelling. So delicious smelling. Yeah, I'm going to sprinkle the top with cilantro. And then I'm going to let it sit in this pan and rest for a few hours before I serve it. Taco meatloaf. That's what we're having. Okay, time to give this a taste test. That's the Spanish rice that I've mixed. I told you we'll put a link to it. <laughs> That's the taco meatloaf. And that's the Tom <laughs> who's going to taste this. Mm -hmm. I know how good the Spanish rice is. I'm, I'm interested to try this. Get me a big old slab over here. They good? That is so good. Yeah. Wow. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Babe, you can put this recipe in your cookbook. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Okay. Love it. Thank you very much. Oh, you're welcome. Well, there you go, guys. I actually went ahead. I you'll have to excuse my throat. Um, as I mentioned earlier in this vlog, I am battling a cold. Um, but I put some of the uh, sauce on mine in the. We're just gonna, yep. Yeah, since that rice is on there, it can just stay there, and we'll, we'll just do it like that. How about that? A little bit of avocado, some more lime. There we go. Will you all take care? I'm definitely gonna try to, and we'll see you next time. I may not have mentioned. Um, if you haven't subscribed, that I hope you will. Click that subscription button and the notification bell. Give me a thumbs up. Hit that like button for me, please. Appreciate all you subscribers, all my friends. Thank you so much. And we'll see you next time. Bye.